Good afternoon, y'all. Today we're going to learn how to make some garden beds. Um, I tried two different methods, one with hot glue and then one with regular school glue. Um, I kind of like this one a lot better. It dries a lot faster, a lot cleaner, but this is still nice too. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. To start off with, I cut some chipboard to length. Uh, it is three inches wide and five inches long. I'm going to be using some cheap um, plants that I bought from Dollar Tree. I, I don't spend a whole lot of money, y'all know me. <laughs> we're going to do a couple of different methods. First one we're going to do is with the hot glue gun. I like it because it makes the rows nice, uh, but that's going to be your base. But I'm going to go ahead and get that on there. I'm going to hit the struggle bus while I'm at it because that's the way I do things. And they don't have to be perfect. Any farmer or anybody that gardens knows that anytime you plow anything, it's not going to be in a straight line. So it, it'll be realistic looking enough. And I'm going to go ahead and put them on top of a piece of paper because it'll be easier to get the sand and get the uh, flocking off of there by doing it this way. Uh, first one, and not so great. I, I put PVA glue. I forgot that it really makes the board warp. Doesn't stop me from going to town on it though, but my husband reminded me, hey, we've got some wood glue. Why don't you try that? So that's what we're going to do next. This one is just going to be an unplanted field, but it'll still have the furrows. Using different grade sand, some of it's look coarser than others, and silly me, I forgot, oh, there's a camera there. I need to move that. <laughs> so then I moved over to a little bit finer sand. And then um, th this has got some bigger chunks in it. It's just to kind of break it up a little bit and make it not look so um, handmade, even though it is. <laughs> And once I knock off the excess, I'm going to pour it back into a container. That way I can use it again later. This step, I'm just going to put a little bit of PVA glue and then I'm going to kind of paint it in a little bit and then sprinkle some flocking on top of that because this is going to be kind of an overgrown bed. Struggle with weeds is real, y'all, even fantasy land. <laughs> And this will also help hold down the excess sand that's still on the board, and that's perfectly fine. Does not help with the warping, though. <laughs> I did end up putting, I didn't show it on this video, but I did end up putting more PVA glue, but on the other side, and it did help correct the issue. And again, we're going to knock off the excess pieces and put it into a baggie to save for later. And here's where I start working smarter and not harder by using the wood glue. It doesn't warp as much. And just using a dampened paintbrush to kind of mix it in a little bit and make sure that it gets completely covered and it doesn't dry on my paintbrush. Although this particular one is destined to be a dry brush because it is old and the bristles are very stiff. Probably because I do things like this with it. Oh, good tip, don't use your good paintbrush to paint on glue. Now we're going to use a little finer sand. This is sand from my backyard. Yes, I did treat it. It's okay. You can use that. It's cheap. It's free. You can't get any cheaper than that. <laughs> but I do knock it off and save it for later because I went through the trouble of sifting it and preparing it. So you might as well take care of it, right? same thing with the last one we're just going to go over the borders to show where the weeds are kind of coming in or that there's a barrier on the outside separates it up a little bit I think it looks nice looks more authentic
I don't do this with all of them, but on this one I'm going to put a little bit of PVA glue down because the medium that I'm using is kind of spongy and it sticks better to it and I don't burn my fingers. But I thought I needed a little flower patch and this has got little purple um, sponge-like pieces in it. And it does get messy. That's quite alright because we're having fun. And I'm going to take a break in this part of the video to remind everybody that I do have a Buy Me A Coffee page. So if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, go ahead and buy me a coffee. I'll greatly appreciate it and you'll get a shout out. Just make sure to let me know if you want me to use your name or not. And now for you guessed it, more hot glue. But we're going to go ahead and glue our little Dollar Tree flowers onto this. And on this one, I, I took some aquarium plants and cut them to size. They kind of reminded me of corn stalks, so they work great in this project. Make sure to give it a spacing that way you're not using too much plants too. But um, I did end up having to hold it for a second and let the glue dry, but that's cool. And I am gluing them every half inch, so the, the spacing looks nice. It looks more natural. <laughs> For the next row, it is some more aquarium plants. Uh, these ones kind of reminded me of cabbage, so I clipped them real short. And I kind of dig it. It's cool. And make sure to offset the spacing, that way it looks a little bit more natural. The next row is just some more Dollar Tree flowers that I cut to size. Um, I thought they were kind of neat looking. I'm not quite sure what vegetable this could be, but it's fantasy land. It could be spider eggs if you want it to be, or it could be food. Uh, it's totally up to you. And I am bunching them up a little closer because they are smaller pieces. So I, th I thought it fit. So that's the way I'm going to do it. And we are going to do two rows of this, but I'm not going to force you to sit here and watch that. I'm going to fast forward through. I thought this could use a little bit more realistic touch and I added some muddy patches into our garden patch. Um, I didn't go too heavy on this. The goal is mostly to cover up the hot glue, make it less shiny. <laughs> so this is a matte color so there's no shine. I'm really liking the finished look on this. I'm going to go ahead and knock off some of the excess. Uh, sand and dirt and flocking and now the paint will hold some of it on there which is cool it'll look more authentic but I really like how it turned out little cabbage patch of course same goes for our little flower garden in the ongoing battle with the hot glue strings <laughs> Now with it on my little grass mat, I really like how it turned out. It's to scale and looks pretty good, if I don't say so myself. <laughs> well, there you have it. If you like the page, please like, subscribe, share the channel. It definitely helps out a whole lot. And I hope to see you all again next Friday. Bye.